Well, hey everybody, Mike Decker. I am working on a 2006 Jeep Wrangler 2.4 liter engine and it's my daughter's Jeep and she's having issues with her air conditioner. So I wanna give a shout out, quick shout out to my friend Dave Reed who really troubleshooted this just now with me. Uh, Jeff McCann, Jeff Jolliffe and Marty Carver who sent me some videos to really get me started. But let me take you to the problem and then I'll show you how, how I fixed it. So in my daughter's case, what was happening is we were getting air from the defrost as well as down uh, below from the heater. But when she would turn her uh, switch to the air conditioning switches, nothing would come out of the vent. And so there was nothing, nothing, nothing. As soon as we hit the vent, air would come out of the vent and then cold air through the defrost or heat, depending on what you know your, your temperature gauge was. And then the defrost, again, cold air in our case out here in California. Uh, rarely do we need a heater, but regardless, worked, 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 but then nothing here. And so um, there's a lot of good YouTube videos out uh, that you can watch in terms of how to check the fuses. So that's the first place you wanna start. And in this case, uh, the 2006 Jeep Wrangler, you're gonna have fuses here in this particular compartment. And then as you know, uh, if you open up your glove compartment here, you're gonna have fuses here. So let me just pop this off, pull it out. And then with your tester, what you would do is you would, you know, turn on the air, on the engine so you have power, but then you would, you know, find a ground. And then as you go, you can test all of these and this little uh, tester will light up and so you know if, whether or not your fuses are good. So once we, once we figured out the fact that the fuses were fine, the next step is to check for a vacuum leak. And again, there's some really good videos out on YouTube to check for a vacuum leak. But basically what the starting point is, you identify where your kind of your compressor is and where your, your uh, you know, your air conditioning line is, and then just kind of go through these lines to make sure that they're, you know, what kind of condition they're in. There's a lot of, tr a lot of Jeeps will have issues with this. And again, I don't, I don't need to go into that, but in her case, her, her line is pristine. So uh, we, I, we figured out we didn't have a vacuum leak. So now we're back on the inside. So I've taken off the doors just to kind of make it simple. So the way you get to, uh, to the switches is you have to remove this top piece here which is really uh, actually pretty simple which is one of the things I love about Jeeps they're easy to work on and then I've already removed it but there are two Phillips screws uh, at the top one here and one here and then just with a little bit of love you can take this piece off and so I'm gonna set that there and then let me set up the camera here. Uh, in, in my particular case, to, to get to the back here, and this is some of the wires uh, for it, there's a, a Phillips screw here, and then there's one here. So let me pull that off. Grab this here and remove that. Pull that off here. And when you open it up, you will have all these switches here. And let me unplug this here. This is the, this is the culprit in, in, in my case. So this particular switch is what runs your blowers. And so we checked all of that, but then when we looked closer, and I don't know if, you, if it shows up or not in the video, but we noticed how this plastic here was melted. And so you can see the copper, how it pops here pretty, pretty close, pretty good. But when you get in here, um, you can feel it and stuff. In fact, when we were running the air conditioning, it was got a little hot. So let me just pop, pull this off real quick. I think I can do it with my fingers. Yeah, so let me just pull this out to give you an idea what the switch looks like. And in fact, uh, if you want to, you can pull this apart. And when we did that, 
uh, what we found on the inside was again more melted plastic in fact and one of the contacts one of the melted co uh, contacts had had a um, plastic on it so um, our suspicion is that it's this particular switch so I went on on uh, Amazon found the right part and they actually don't sell just the switch but they sell the entire unit for like $69 and so I've ordered that part it'll come tomorrow Amazon Prime shout out to Amazon <clears throat> and then I'll post it hopefully uh, it will have remedied the problem so again if you're having issues where uh, you're got uh, the, the defrost is working up on top here you're getting air from the top here and you're, you're getting air down from below but nothing's coming out of here the chances are strong that it's this uh, particular switch or one of the switches so i hope that i hope that helps some of you i've spent hours and hours and hours uh, trying to troubleshoot this and hopefully this video will help uh, stay tuned for the rest of this tomorrow bye, -bye. all right everybody uh my package just arrived in the mail i got it from uh, i'll put the information maybe in the link at the end this is an off-market um switch you can get, go with an OEM uh, the Mopar switch which is like $219 and it doesn't include the cord so I'm gonna pull this apart and then uh, we'll get we'll get after it so this looks basically the same as the one that came in the Jeep, the OEM, with the exception of, you know, there's an extra, some extra bolt holes there, but all in all, I'm gonna detach all this. I'm gonna remove this here and uh, see if this reaches. If it doesn't, then we'll have to adjust it accordingly, but looks good so far. So that's pretty much it, everybody. It was the heater control switch. Uh, re I replaced, uh, you know, took out everything, simply um, replugged everything in. I did not use their harness because it was a little too short, so I just I kept the same harness, plugged everything in, and we are good to go. I've got defrost, I've got vent, and uh, down below, I've got the blower on the heater. So that was our problem. Again, this is good for a lot of the TJs, I think, as well. Uh, hopefully this video helps. So hey everybody, good news, check it out. Clearly the air conditioning is working. Now here's something that I learned. On a hunch, I decided I would try to use their cable, uh, which is about half the length of this one. So that created its own problem. But the, the reward was the output was probably 10 to one, 10 times stronger than when I use my old, uh, my cable. So, you know, now I gotta go down here and uh, had to you know pull a bunch of stuff out here and and re re rework some things but uh, that's just part of you know tinkering so anyways the, the reward obviously is is way better so hopefully this helps everybody hopefully this is shorten the learning curve um, for many of you and the best of all my daughter is going to be awesome happy so um, as a dad what more can you ask for if you like this, please give me a you know thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, we'd love for you to do that. If you're in the motorcycle world, uh, I do a lot of motorcycle posts, as you can tell, uh, on my High Road Living uh, YouTube channel. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. God bless you, and stay safe.